G'day, I'm Tom Franklin. Um, we as Franklins have been in Brindabella for about six generations here, dispersed throughout the valley. I mean, watching last night these fellas up with their drone in the skies, catching all of the images along the trees of the projections and the lasers, I mean, it was just... It was just an homage to Brindabella. The last couple of weeks, boys, we pulled something cool off. Oh yeah, yesterday was, a, yeah, last night was unreal. It was with the truck and with the sirens going off. Was amazing and having two stages back to back i mean at, at any point you could kind of decide what you were into anywhere from acoustics and electric violins all the way through to hard screamo sets and a little bit of rock and roll and and that's what we need to cultivate here because this place is special man the water and the mountains and the air i really i really did enjoy seeing everybody just having such a good time <laughs> Hello everybody from uh, Talisman Birthday Bash uh, in uh, Brindabella Valley in, in New South Wales and uh, uh, here we are with the man who provided this uh, beautiful site uh, for, for our party. Please introduce yourself. Only partially. Uh, g'day, I'm Tom Franklin. Um, we as Franklins have been in Brindabella for about six generations here, dispersed throughout the valley. And um, yeah, it's always been a place of gathering and all, all the way back in the day we've had tourism here and just good wholesome fun. So it's good to see it continuing on here with, with all the stuff that's been happening. So how do you think um, uh, the party has been going so far and um, uh, have there been any major challenges during the party? I think everybody really pulled their weight. I mean, just as a bit of a thanks to all of the Talisman crew here and all the volunteers and everybody who's just shoved themselves up in the last five seconds to get everything across the line. Squiddy, Benny, you know, Charlie and Eric and Pete doing all the moving and shaking. I mean, it really just wouldn't have got done without you. And people who just rocked up on the day ready to help. I mean, it was just so awesome to see because I obviously couldn't have done this on my own. And, you know, to have Benny incorporate it with, with the McGrath Foundation and have it as a bit of a charity rather than saying, you know, like, oh, yeah, we're just out here to make money off everyone having a good time. You know, the fact that it actually does something and goes to an effort rather than just, you know, the senseless revolution of fun. You know, that was really, really inspiring for me to see that all these young boys and girls wanted to have that and just do it out of their own blood, sweat and tears, really. I mean, the last couple of weeks, boys, we pulled something cool off. I mean, watching last night these fellas up with their drone in the skies, catching all of the images along the trees of the projections and the lasers, I mean, it was just, it was just an homage to Brindabella. I really, I really did enjoy seeing everybody just having such a good time. Oh yeah, yesterday was, uh, yeah, last night was unreal. It was with the truck and with the sirens going off. <laughs> amazing and having two stages back to back I mean at, at any point you could kind of decide what you were into there was a bit of D&B there was a bit of hard hard house there was all sorts of things happening just at different points and you could jump in wherever you felt comfortable and that was the biggest thing especially for the people playing I mean you know anywhere from acoustics and electric violins all the way through to hard screamo sets and a little bit of rock and roll and I mean, if you can have a bit of contrast rather than just this constant stimulation, you know, a bit of sit down, a bit of swim in the creek, you know, freshen up, revitalize, 
have Squiddy come past and say, hey, do you want some fresh fruit, you know? It makes these sorts of things so much easier to manage for the punters and for the people who are actually trying to get it on for everybody because everyone's just in a better mood and in a better head headspace. Yeah, and uh, the weather has been great to us this weekend. We're so, so grateful. I've literally been saying the whole time over the radio, whoever brought the sun in their pocket, you know, I better, I better give them an extra pat on the back because it was going to be rainy and all dreary and now it's overcast for the pack up so nobody's getting too burnt and it it it's just like it was put on for us and we couldn't have asked for a better event i mean over the last year in this sort of community there's especially with things like Siland and the, the whole corona thing has set all of these things back yards and yards and yards in terms of investment and time and energy and enthusiasm and just to get people back out on the ground was just the best thing to see. I mean, you know, it's been two years since any of us could actually give each other a cuddle and say, oh, how have you bloody been, you know? That was that was wild to be able to facilitate here. Yeah, awesome. So the, was this the first uh, sort of party that happened at this location? Uh, like, We've done a lot of dry runs, you know, back and forth. We've changed it up in terms of camping on the river and having the stage a bit further down. And, you know, there was a lot of things that we've had to remove in this space, especially to get it back to an open space. But the best part about all of this, you know, set up, pack down type thing is you can basically put it wherever you want. And, you know, Brindabella is an extraordinarily special place, but I mean, this event was made by the people and the people who actually came and, you know, I w walked around this morning and I found less than an ice cooler bag of rubbish and that was after we'd had an, a massive windstorm that's blown the campsites all asunder and people are trying to batten down the hatches and all with smiles and you know just another part of the thing and to see that everybody was really pitching in to make sure that Brindabella does stay because I mean it's an operating farm it has been for a couple of hundred years and before that it's just been pristine absolutely gorgeous country that deserves to be taken care of and whoever's been here for the last 40 60 thousand years even right up until today has been really good to see that there is that care still there because a lot of the people we see in Brindabella are not here to have fun and enjoy themselves in the way that respects the country so any criticism that people throw upon events like this and upon people like us we silently give them the finger because we know at the best intention of us is the best intention of the land. So that just gives me real great confidence to say that the people here are actually pitching in to make this place beautiful. Awesome, man. Awesome. Uh, so uh, um, are you motivated for, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the next one? <laughs> in, in terms of motivation, I think I'm extraordinarily keen, but it has highlighted to us a whole heap of small different things that can be definitely improved and you know you never know till you have a go we'll have a couple more dry runs we'll change the space up a little bit we'll try have a few more numbers and see how we go but i mean just the fact that we can have small grassroots things like this where people really aren't pressured into playing a set that they wouldn't usually play or just crowd please the music and actually have a bit more fun on the decks and do a bit of something and like your boys with the truck and the projections and the piano and just a bit extra you know that's what we've been chasing here and if we can consistently put that on i really do see good hope for brindabella you know there is just a great chance. I mean, people might look at this crowd and have all sorts of thoughts, you know, oh, long-haired, droopy hippies and, oh, you know, have a haircut. But, I mean, we have doctors, we have astrophysicists, we have mic and sound connectivity people, we have the whole works, anywhere from tradies to businessmen to lawyers to... When you combine that sort of brain power yeah. and enthusiasm that doesn't just have to be your own, it just is exponential, you know, times 10 times 10 every time you find a new like-minded spirit that wants to come here and put a little bit in because, you know, we're not offering a paycheck, you know, we're not offering like a 40 grand a year bonus and, you know, this is all just a bunch of young blokes that want to have fun for a lot of people and, I mean, seeing how it's all panned out with the 
bloody shoestring of a budget we've had and people like Sam who have dropped us off the fire truck just because he said hey guys you know we believe in what you're doing and we want you to have fun and we were young once and we'll give you a hand to make that happen and seeing that man knowing that I hadn't really done much besides big groundskeeper Willie keeping all of the grass in check and keeping it all organised with the cattle. I mean, it really has been great to see that everyone's just pulled together something special. Awesome, brother. Yeah. I, once again, look, I want to thank you for this. Uh, I really wanted something like this uh, for, for a while. I've been wanting it. So thank you very much uh, for it. And this would have not been anything fun if it was just eight blokes standing out in the paddock going, woo! So the community aspect in a selfish way is what I do this for. And seeing Brindabella with a proper aspect of community where there's no stigmatism, Sorry, there's no stigma. Stigmatism is in your eye, not in your brain. But there's no stigma. There's no discouraging of behaviour. There's silent camaraderie of, hey, you know, keep yourself in check. Or like, are you feeling okay? Or, you know, just making sure that the bare bones part of humanity is always ticked off, this community provides. And that's very, very rare in this current geopolitical world. So I'm glad we have that. And I'm glad we can all share it. Because this place here, my pop always said, you know, not everybody should have access to it. Not everybody should own a farm, but everybody should have access to one. And that's just stuck with everybody and resonated, especially with me and my old man ever since then. And the more you can share aspect like this between city and country people and have a bit of a meeting ground in the middle, that commonality, I like this tune, you like this tune, I like this view, you like this view it starts to level out a lot of the playing fields and when humanity just realizes we're all just the same bloke really <laughs> looking at each other with different sets of eyes it really does open up a lot of doors to what you can accomplish and if all i can say is use your empathy and use your ability to project yourself onto other people and you'll be really surprised where it takes you well that's amazing man you you've already in a, during our conversation you have given me a different perspective with just your thought, thoughts and explanations and how how deep it goes not just not just like a, a having fun having fun party that it's much more deeper this is beyond my backyard i mean this is a six generation effort i mean what we're doing now is enjoying the fruits of a labor that is centuries in the making beyond just the land management of burning off and grazing and all the different things that come with pest control and predatory animals and trying to keep your pasture and your bush in the perfect kind of balance for production of all things is my imperative so if this party was to ever combat that or ever make that more difficult for me I would have flicked it off the cards a long time ago but when we first had an event here with about 150 people it was in 2019 there was smoke and 25 k's away there was a fire that was burning shit out of one of our biggest national parks the Kosciuszko National Park to the south of us burnt Tumbarumba pretty much to the ground pretty much near burnt the back of Tal Bingo to the ground and it was coming for us and we had a couple hundred people here I didn't find a single cigarette butt, I didn't find a single piece of plastic, and the only sign besides tire tracks and footprints that I could track of the whole event was a shirt with a rock on it down by the river where everyone had been swimming. And I cannot ask for any more of that. You see plenty of people that come to Brindabella with that yeah nah rip it up attitude and this is not these people. And that's what we need to cultivate here. Because this place is special man the water and the mountains and the air you know it needs to be protected because our high countries had such a battering with our fires and droughts and mismanagement and when you have people here that can just be here for a start and open the door to what the land really offers for us in terms of the fruits of the labor we could work so much better in every aspect if we took a few of these small things of camaraderie and community and just trying to work to an end goal not a selfish pile of gold we would actually have a really really great world but how far does humanity's greed go yeah that's well that's what we always ask eh? <laughs> well, stop getting pessimistic but hey.
This has been great to see that humans just do have the capacity to work together. It's not a far off fantasy. I mean, we're doing it here. We've done it before and we'll do it again better next time. Awesome, man. I'm, yeah, all, I'm wishing you all the best. And uh, yeah, thank you once again for inviting us to your land. Oh. <laughs> and so you. does Bella. Hey, come up here. Bella. Hello, Bella. Hey, you got any words, Wolf? You speak? <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thanks, that's, guys. That's a nice yeah, ending to our interview. That'll keep you up in the morning, won't it? Get the heart up. Good on you, guys.